Hi everyone, I'm back and this time I'm going to share the pocket letter that I created for Olga and it's my first one ever so this is the paper that inspired me. It's called Botanical Tea by Graphic 25. I've been hoarding this for a little while for that special project and I finally found it. So this is the paper that I used. I'm going to wrap it with white tissue and have this on the outside. So I created that little banner for her. And that's going to be on the outside of it. And then once she opens that tissue, she's going to find my pocket letter, which is going to look like this. I don't know if you can see that. But it says from Evie. And it has a little fairy charm there that she can read. I mean, just take out and use. And then I have a little teaspoon. And that teaspoon is from a set that um, Janelle got me at Daiso. I had this, so I'm keeping one for myself. And I'm sharing that one with her so she can have it um, if she wants to mix in some sugar or some honey or something on her tea. So I incorporate that there. And then what you see on the little corner there, it's one of these. These are like, they sort of reminded me like those little hors d'oeuvres or petit fours that, that they serve at teas. So I couldn't, I, it was perfect to have that little jewelry piece that you see there. It fits perfectly inside, but if I had it going like this, it wouldn't really show. So what I did was I folded it. I folded it in half like that. And then I pressed it down, like you see there. And then that little jewelry part, what I did was I inserted a little um, pin up here at the top to hold it in place. So I, I didn't glue it. I just held it in place to that little paper with that pin and then I insert it through the flower and then I have a little earring piece on the bottom so she won't get um, pricked with the, with the pin and that way she can use the little jewelry part and she can use the flower for another project if she wants and then I don't know if she wants to keep that but that's the little paper it's folded in half and she can take the spoon and it's all wrapped with a piece of lace that I believe this was Marla that sent me that beautiful blue lace and it goes perfectly with this and then as you can see I don't know if that's there that's a little tag that says from Evie so once you take that off and I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off for now I'm wrap the little lace and this is the pocket letter that I created for her using those papers so at the top these are little cards that come with a paper pad so I just cut them I didn't and they stick out at the top so I only use them at the top like that she can take them out and just um, reuse those little paper pieces so I didn't write anything on them or glued anything to them so that she could use them so this one here says a cup of tea warms the soul like a good friend and I just what I did was I I put some stickers on the outside it says tea and it has a tea on the back so it's a jasmine yummy tea and I just put it on the outside so she can use a little card if she wants this one holds some little cutouts and a little gift in the back and then this one I glued the little stickers that say letter and it says hello friend letter and then it has the card inside with my little letter on the back and then down here, this little piece here, it says play, just so that she knows that this little wooden Polaroid veneer, she can take out and, and she can paint it or use it however she wants to use it. The little angel is glued to the card, but she can take that off and use it too. That's a little charm. And then this one here I created with a bottle cap and some glossy accents and little micro beads. And then it has a little tiny card bling there with beautiful blue tones and then this one I believe is a recollections mason jar that um, is dimensional but I painted a little dragonfly it's a, a little wood veneer of a dragonfly I painted it and I glued it to the top so it looks like it's captured from the garden and then at the bottom I incorporated a little butterfly it's also loose so she can take it out and she can reuse the paper too this one is glued down, but it's a wood veneer that I painted, and then I glued down a little angel from 
prima, I think these are. It's a musical angel. And then this little paisley applique, she can just use any way she wants to. So that's not glued down, it's just, it's just placed there. And then on the back, so she has her tea, little die cuts and flowers and the letter. And then these here are the envelopes that you used to get. I don't know if they have them anymore, but these are from um, Michael's. So I took two of them that matched the look. And then this one says a gift of time. So it has some little gifts in there. And friends are gems. So these have little gems inside. These have little wood veneers. Um, this one here says garden friends. So it has little wood veneers in there too. And then this one is a charm, a bottle cap, and a little spool top and some metal pieces. So those are the little gifts that I've included in the pocket letter. And oh, this one says, where there is tea, there is love. That's what it says here. So that's another little quote that's on the paper. So I kept it there and I just used a little washi there to hold up the heavier pieces that are in here. And then this one here, there's a little gift in there and this little paper piece that's covering what's behind it because it's yellow and doesn't really match but I put a little um, paper there with some washi samples that she can reuse. So those are the little gifts that are included in my pocket letter and I will wrap all of this up for her and be sending this to her and I'm also going to send some premium white from pre premium milk chocolates from Puerto Rico and they are Cortez, which is a brand that's typical of Puerto Rico. And um, they came out with this premium line of chocolates when they opened uh, a shop in Old San Juan where they serve you hot chocolate and churros and things like that. They sell the chocolates too. And now they're selling these around the island. So I, I thought I'd send her three of these so she can be reminded of Puerto Rico. And that's it. That's, that's, my, that's my pocket letter, my first one ever. So I didn't go, go like all out decorating the little cards or anything. I, I thought I'd just leave her the plain papers and do all the goodies like around it. I'm sure all of mine are gonna look different from one, one from the other, but I'll put all of that in a little cellophane baggie so it's all kept together. And yeah, so that's it. That's gonna be my pocket letter for Olga. So I hope she likes it. I hope all of you liked um, my share of it and that's basically oh and of course I'm gonna send her something mixed media because I have the vintage romantic look and I also have a mixed media so I'm gonna send her this little canvas that I created it has a little jewelry piece in the center and I made a little owl and it's like sitting on a branch of a tree so it's all dimensional and mixed media it has the owl has lace on it and jewelry pieces with liquid pearls and just little details so it's a little piece that I created. I'm gonna send it to her so she can have a mixed media side of me also together with that other style. So that would represent my, my style, I guess. So I hope you liked it. Um, take care everyone. See you all as soon as I can get back to sharing some of my other pieces that I created um, during my break. And see you all soon, bye.